Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have Chevy Cruze, guys, and you have engine light on, and you scan your system, and it says code such as P057C, guys, stay with us, and we'll explain what causes that code and how to fix it. Now, quick introduction to the channel, guys. We will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Hopefully you'll find the information helpful. We spent quite a bit of time making those videos. All the tools and parts that we use, including uh, what we will need for that video to fix that problem. You can find the links in the description of the video below and uh, you can see what parts we replaced. Now, this is guys a 2015 Chevy Cruze, but it should work for the whole generation, first generation and maybe... So this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze guys, but even if you have a, a first generation or even second generation, it should be the same procedure as well. So let me go ahead and start, start it for you guys and we'll show you okay, what the problem is and how we're going to fix it. We have the computer okay, connected to the OBD port okay, right here. You can see this is your OBD port. You just connect your scanner here. Now the scanner that we're using, I will definitely recommend it and I will tell you why in just a second. Let's go ahead and turn the ignition on, start the car and I want to show you how the engine light is on guys. Okay, you're going to notice in a second it says engine light on. So we need to definitely scan the system. Let me turn the light off so you can see it even a little bit better now. And it just stays on. No matter what you do, it stays on. So I'll go ahead and turn the car off. We'll turn the ignition on, now we'll be using the scanner guys. This scanner works on any car, not just on Chevy Cruze and I'll definitely recommend it. It's in the description of the video below guys. Check it out, now you can uh, read and delete codes from the engine computer, ABS, traction control system and airbags as well. You can do uh, fuel injector, calibrations, battery registrations, steering angle sensor, calibration and TPM message resets as well with that thing. Amazing guys. We'll go under OBD, enter here. It's going to take just a little bit of time okay, to connect and establish secure communication with the vehicle and it's going to give us guys the codes that we have. Okay, it should be any minute now. This is, uh, this is the protocol that is using now. Okay, let me just clean all the dust a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now, <coughs> this thing, it really depends how long it's going to take. It really depends on uh, uh, how many codes you have, how many computers you have and all that stuff. So we click OK here now and it gives us three different sections of the car computer that we can access usually our codes are under the one that ends in eight okay right there so uh, let me see if it's better without the light maybe a little bit or just turn it down some and here we're going to select this one we're going to click read codes stored codes and what we have here guys okay check it out now the codes that we have guys uh, P057C and we even actually have another code U0073 two codes that we have guys e control module communication and refer to the service menu so if I go back I'll try to get under pending codes and under pending codes practically we have the same thing but sometimes you might ha you may have an extra code so I did some research guys and what I found out okay that code P057 C and the other one okay relate to uh, brake okay the brake sensor that's the one that actually when you press your brake paddle it detects that and it's going to turn your brake lights on stop lights on so this is known as brake switch guys and if that switch is bad or the wiring harness is disconnected that will happen now I will go ahead, okay, I'll go ahead, turn the ignition on, or we'll even start the car on, and I'll get a person to come press the brakes, and you will see how the brakes, guys, do not work at all. So we're going to press the brakes all the way hard, guys. Brakes are on, and on the back, we don't get anything at all. No brakes. So this is, guys, due to a bad faulty brake light switch or connection as well. So we're going to turn the car off. Exit and I'll show you what we need to replace to fix that problem now.
So I'm under the, okay you can see this is brake pedal, throttle pedal right here guys, okay I'm coming right there, okay this thing, this device right here guys is your brake light switch, okay that's the brake switch guys, and when you move the, okay the brake pedal you can see how it moves the switch and if that switch doesn't uh, detect movement, if it's broken it's not going to send that information and you'll get that code, it could be a loose, loose uh, wire too, so check that one as well. We have the video on the channel how to replace it guys, uh, if you want to check it out, definitely it will be on the channel. In today's video we just want to show you guys, okay, uh, if replacing that thing will take care of the problem if our lights will work again. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll replace it and we'll come back in a second. If you want to see the video, it's on our channel. So the sensor guys, it has been replaced, so I'm going to go ahead now even without clearing the engine light i want to start it okay and see what's going to happen engine light still on i'll go ahead turn the car off turn it back on now we need that computer guys why well, we need it so we can go back and click erase codes confirm erase done so if I start the car now and we'll get somebody to come press the brake pedal a couple of times okay to see if that takes care of the problem so engine light should be gone guys okay no engine light on at all you can see and now we're going to press the brake pedal okay and see if that will take care of the problem so let's see how that will fix our problem or we need to look into something else I haven't checked it yet okay brakes on yep everything works as you can see so hopefully guys the video will be helpful that takes care of that problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time